In this video, you're going to learn how to unlock DocuSign's full capabilities to automate any workflow that requires you to collect signatures, whether that's from your clients, from investors, from staff, or from anyone else. And so that means you'll be learning about templates and integrations. Now, before we move any further, I'm assuming here in this video that you've already sent an envelope in the past, or you're already familiar with what an envelope is, what recipients are, what's a signing order, and all of these things. If you've never sent an envelope before, I recommend that you watch my video on how to use DocuSign as a beginner in 2024 before you keep watching this one. Simply automating the signature isn't really enough if you want to save time and you want to work more efficiently. If you want document workflows that are going to grow as the business grows, we want to automate as many steps as we can. And most people just think of the signature steps. However, the signature is just one of the five phases of your document workflows. Documents need to be created, sent, tracked, then they need to be signed, yes, and they also need to be stored. And those are the five phases that all documents go through, whether we are aware of this or not. And how efficiently your documents flow through those five stages depends on how much automation and thought you've poured into the systems that you use every day at each step within each phase of the document workflows. Does that make sense? I see it in my day-to-day -day practice, I see four levels of automation that organizations have implemented from level zero, where organizations don't use automation up to level three, where automation is leveraged as much as possible. And my goal with this channel is to help you get to stage three, where you're not wasting time copy pasting information and chasing signatures and doing things manually so that you can focus on what actually grows the business and what you're good at. And if you're wondering who I am, my name is Sofian Saudi. I'm an ex DocuSign staff and now founder of Solisan Consulting, where we've helped since 2019 over 2000 organizations automate their document workflows using DocuSign and other tools. Now, if you'd like our team to set things up so that yours doesn't have to learn everything and set up everything from scratch, you can book a complimentary implementation strategy session using the link just down below. I've also created a cheat sheet that summarizes all the things that I'm talking about in this specific video that you can download using the link just down below as well. Now, if you're at stage zero, you're wasting a ton of time. And I feel sorry for you because you're copy pasting information. You click so many times on so many things and you have to create the documents, send them to your signers, sometimes even maybe print them. Then you're using probably an Excel sheet to track who has signed and who hasn't yet. Your signers, unfortunately, have to print, sign, scan and send back to you. Errors often occur because there's no way to prevent signers from entering incorrect information using manual systems. And then once the documents are signed, you still have to rename those documents, maybe scan them as a PDF, save them as a PDF, rename them, place them in the right folder. Or maybe you don't even bother and you can never find your documents. But if you do, then you have to upload the document to the right folder and then extract information entered by your signers in your forms back to your database, your Excel, your CRM or whatever, and always doing this over and over again. And so that's not really fun. Then stage one is when you start using DocuSign. So in stage one, as you can see, we've got two green boxes and everything else is red. And that is because in stage one, you are automating this signature piece but you're still wasting a ton of time getting the documents inside of DocuSign and getting the data wherever you need it to go to. And you still have errors in the documents because most likely you're not using templates. Templates are reusable envelopes that make the sending process faster because you don't need to configure your documents, your recipients, and your fields each time you're sending a document, each time you need to collect a signature. Let me show you how to create one now. And so templates, as you can see, we've got some of those elements that have a green, green outer line. And that is to represent the parts that are either fully automated if the outer line is continuous or partially automated. So here you're going to get about 20% of automation using templates and only 10 if you're using DocuSign without templates. That's a significant increase, it's twice the amount of, of automation, but we can get to 100%. First, before we talk about how to get to full automation, let me show you how to create a template in case you haven't seen that before. And then we'll talk about how can we leverage automation to never have to do any manual copy paste ever again, or at least not in DocuSign. So technically to create a template, you go to the templates tab and then you click on start and then create a template. And then you upload your document and you add your recipients and you set everything up from scratch. Just for the sake of time, I'm not gonna create a template from scratch. I'm gonna use a previously sent envelope that I'm going to convert as a template. I'm going to be using this one. It's just an offer letter and a bank details form that we typically use 
to collect signatures and information from new employees. So I've got this envelope here that is signed. I'm going to save it as a template. I'm going to name my template. So offer letter plus bank. And as you can see here, we have the employment offer. And here we have the bank information. Those documents are already inside of my template. And here in my recipients, I just need to give a name for the role of those two signers. So here we have signer one, that's going to be the candidate and then we have signer to the hr in this example so i'm just going to add my email for hr and i'm going to leave the name and email for candidate blank because obviously it's always going to be a different candidate i'm just going to save this and close and if you want to see how to create templates from scratch you can watch another video that i've linked in the description of this video and so this is how you create the templates docusign templates docusign offers five types of templates that you can choose from depending on the document structure and the workflow I'm not going to get into how to use those other templates in this video, but you can watch another video that I've linked as well in the description just down below to learn how to use templates with other types of documents. Now, this is our template that we've just created. And so let's see how fast it is to send a document. I'm just going to click on use and then I'm going to add the name and email of the candidate. So let's just say that my name is Sofian Candidate and this is the email that I want to use for the candidate. And then I press send. Look. That was super fast. I didn't have to drag and drop all my fields, configure my documents, configure my signing order and all of these things. And so that's why, as you can see, everything here, most of the things are pretty much automated. However, none of the steps that happen after sending the documents are automated other than the signature. In this example, the documents were already created. I didn't have to create them manually, but I would normally still have to create the document in Microsoft Word for the offer letter. We still need to track manually who has signed and who hasn't. And once the documents will be signed, then we'll still need to download the PDF, rename that PDF, place it in the right folder inside of a Google Drive or a, a OneDrive, a SharePoint, and then extract the information entered by the candidate about the bank information so that we can give that to payroll so that payroll can enter this inside of their payroll system. That's, that, that's so much time that's wasted. And so that's why it's not good enough to stop at stage two, which is using DocuSign with templates. Instead, you can go one stage further, which is stage three, and at stage three, you're no longer doing any manual work because the information is exchanged between DocuSign and all the other apps that you use every day using automation. For example, you can create a send yeah, DocuSign button and that button can be added anywhere that you need whether you're using a CRM, whether you're using Salesforce or HubSpot or an Excel spreadsheet or even Google Sheets. And when that button is clicked, the information is pulled from wherever the button is and sent to the DocuSign template and fills in all the information that you've just saw me enter manually. So there are people's names, email addresses, and all of the other details that we may need to create the document. So let me give you an example with a quick demo. Now let's just imagine that we have this candidate called Bob Smith, and I want to send him the offer letter as well as this bank form. I want to collect all of the information that's empty here for Bob. So instead of having to go inside of my templates, choose my template, click on use, enter Bob's name and email, and then click send. What I can do is simply go to my database and push send. Let me show you. Here, this is my database and I've got Bob. I can simply click on send and that's it, I'm done. And here's the document. So I'm going to complete this document acting as Bob. Bank name, let's just say Bank of America. I've now just completed the envelope as Bob. Let me just countersign it quickly as the HR manager. And here is the notification asking HR to countersign. It didn't take me any time, I just clicked send. That's all. And that's it. I've just signed as the HR manager. Click on finish. And now my envelope will show up inside of my completed envelope. And I can, actually, I can also check where Bob's envelope is. I can see that for now, we know that the candidate has signed. In a minute, the HR manager's status will change from delivered, which means that they've opened the envelope but haven't signed yet and now you can see it says completed and what's going to happen next is that the document will be stored automatically pulled from the DocuSign servers and they will be stored inside of here in the signed document field it's just happening in the back end what was automated was all of this so you saw me click send which automated the creation of the document, the sending, as well as the tracking. Then I've signed using DocuSign. And so now we're just waiting for this 
bit to happen. And that normally just takes a couple of minutes. And here it is. So we have the first document, which is the certificate of completion. I'm not sure if you've seen that before, but that just tells you when your documents have been signed. So that's my offer letter that's being signed. You can see the document has been signed and there will be another document in a minute. One thing that I want to show you is that it says offer letter Bob Smith signed. So the document was renamed automatically. And this is the bank form being downloaded as we speak. Bank form Bob Smith. Obviously, you can configure the naming convention. You can ask DocuSign to save the document the way that you want. I just wanted to show you with a very simple example how powerful using automation really is because you never need to do any manual work. Oh, one thing that I was going to forget, the completed document that DocuSign sent us as a result of completing the envelope. And as you can see here, we have the bank form that was signed by Bob, aka me. Now, instead of having to copy this and paste it in my database. And again, I'm just using this database as an example, but you can be using Salesforce, HubSpot, Google Sheet, Excel, whatever the thing is that you want, it doesn't matter. Instead of copying and pasting, look at this. Everything is here automatically for me. I've got the name of the bank that's here. I've got the address of the bank that's here. Obviously it's just a demo. I haven't spent a lot of time polishing this, but you can see how powerful this is. And this could be used to create Bob's payroll profile instead of QuickBooks or whatever other system that you use. And we also have a backup copy of that document inside of Google Drive. So we can see here, we have all the documents for Bob automatically saved for us. And so this is how you can automate all the phases of your document workflows. How much time and effort did it take me to send this document and do all of the admin? Just one click, literally nothing. So in summary, if you want to fully automate your document workflows that need signatures, whether you're using DocuSign or not, you should aim at achieving stage three, which is using integrations. These integrations will link your DocuSign templates with your systems, whatever system it is that you use, so that your documents can flow from one stage to the next without having to do any manual work. Everything happens on autopilot. And if you'd like our team to set things up for you and train your team on how to use those systems, you can book a complimentary implementation strategy session using the link just down below. In the next video, I will show you how to choose the best DocuSign templates for your needs and how to create it depending on the layout and the workflow that you want to automate. So I really recommend you watch it next. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, happy signing. Ciao.